It's finally official. The Texans have promoted Anthony Weaver to defensive coordinator. Now, let's be real. Everyone and their mom saw this coming from a mile away. Like, everyone knew this was the move that was going to happen if the Texans were going to move on from Romeo Cornell. And here we are. It's actually happened, and I think this is a good thing. You know, Romeo Cornell, legendary coach, don't get me wrong, but the game has clearly passed him by. And I see a lot of people from the Houston media saying, well, I mean, lo lo look at the talent on the team. You know, Romeo Cornell had nothing to work with. I call complete BS on that. Look at the players individually and how they performed individually. We have a bunch of talent on this defense. I mean, J.J. Watt, D.J. Reader, uh, Whitney Merciless. Even though he's not as good as he was before, he's average. Um, Bernardrick McKinney, Zach Cunningham, uh... Gary on Conley, he performed well when we traded for him. Um, Roby, Roby performed well for us when he was healthy. Vernon Hargraves, he was a little bit up and down, but he's probably the best slot corner we've had in quite some time here. And, you know, of course, you got Justin Reed, young, up-and-coming safety. He's a stud. And Tashawn Gibson, you know, average player. The Texans had one of the worst defenses in the NFL last year. One of the worst. That is undebatable. You can look at the numbers, look at the stats, watch the games, and they all show the same thing. Bottom of the league defense. But we don't have bottom of the league talent on defense. We don't. We have talent good enough to at least have at least an average defense because I will admit we don't have a premier pass rusher, someone that can constantly get to the quarterback, but we have talent at every level that we should at least have an average defense. But with Romeo Cornell, that wasn't the case. And here's the thing too, like the way he's missed used talent. J.J. Watt, Whitney Merciless, Jadavion Clowney, DJ Reader. He had those guys to work with for you know a few years. Never figured out how to use them all. Never. Like it, it's absurd. Like you look at the Niners. They're in the Super Bowl right now, by the way. Look at the Niners. DeForest Buckner, Eric Armstead, D Ford, Nick Bosa. They easily figured out how to use their star players on their D line. Romeo Cornell never figured that out. Romeo Cornell's over here putting McKinney in coverage when everybody knows that McKinney should never ever be in coverage. Um, Romeo Cornell over here has three corners that specialize in press man coverage, but he's playing them 10 yards off the ball. You know, Romeo Cornell has Charles Omenahu and Jacob Martin, two young, decent pass rushers, but in the playoffs, he never really put him in there. That's misuse of talent. The Texans have talent. Like I said, good enough to at least have an average defense. But we had bottom of the league defense this year or this past season. So Romeo Cornell is no longer the DC. And it is now Anthony Weaver. And like I said, I mean, everybody saw this coming. And I think it's a good move because it gets Romeo Cornell out of here. Anthony Weaver, he's a young coach. And if you look at the NFL right now, like these young coaches are taking over. It's a young coach's game right now. You know, you got Sean McVay. You got Eric Bieniemy over there being OC for the Chiefs. You, ha you have Kyle Shanahan. You know, the Giants just hired, like, a 30-year-old coach. You have the coach from the Cardinals that's being innovative with Kyler Murray. You have the Niners defensive coordinator that everybody loves. So, like, 
this is a young coach's league right now. And, you know, Anthony Weaver, he's never, ever called plays in his life. He's never been a DC. This is his first shot at doing that. And I'm not gonna, you know, say, oh, he's gonna be great. But I'm also not gonna sit here and say he's gonna suck because I really do not know because you just never know with these things. I'm just in a wait and see mode. And honestly, that's kind of how I always am. I'm more of a realist instead of an optimist or a pessimist. I, I just see things for what they are and what they are right now is relatively unknown. Like, we'll, we'll see how things will turn out, but I do expect things to be better because we got a young guy instead of an old guy that clearly didn't know what he was doing anymore. And, I mean, he has a nice track record with our defensive linemen. I mean, DJ Reader, Brandon Dunn, Angelo Blackston, Christian Covington. I know, you know, Covington's over there in Dallas, but you know, Anthony Weaver definitely had something to do with that um and you also got a lot of people saying very good things about Anthony Weaver apparently you know Anthony Weaver models like his coaching style close to Rex Ryan because he loves Rex Ryan and Rex Ryan's a pretty good DC. I mean, I I know I saw plenty of Texans fans wanting Rex Ryan. So, hey, you know who knows? Maybe Anthony Weaver can be good. And I also seen some Texans fans be pissed that oh, another, you know, in-house coaching hire. Blah 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 blah. I mean, you already knew this was coming. Like, what what did you expect to happen? Like, who did you want out there? Like, there is literally no one out there that the Texans could have gotten. <laughs> I've seen some people say, man, we should have gotten the Niners defensive coordinator. Like, how in the world are you going to do that? Like, are you going to go over there and kidnap him and then put a fake mustache on him and call him Jimmy or something? Like, you can't do it. You cannot hire someone else's DC as DC. The Niners would just block that move. And... You know, that's just the way things work in the NFL. There was no way we were getting him. And I've also seen some people say Rex Ryan. Now, Rex Ryan actually makes a little bit more sense, but Rex Ryan would also have to agree to coach in the NFL again because, like, here's the thing with guys like Rex Ryan, you know, Tony Romo, people that are, like, analysts of the game. These guys are getting paid millions to just be an analyst. They show up like, what, five times a week maybe. They show up, well, you know, Rex Ryan, he shows up like five times a week just to talk about football. And he gets paid millions. You know, would you rather do that? Have a stress-free job, chill, and like, you know, have days off. Or be a coach, a stressful job probably get paid just as much but you work every day of your life you know like that's what you got to think about when you're talking about bringing a guy from you know NFL network from CBS from ESPN you got to think about that so it's not just simply go get Rex Ryan does Rex Ryan want to come here and you know <laughs> If I was Rex Ryan, if I was Tony Romo, if I was, you know, any of those guys on NFL Network, I would rather stay in my comfortable job that I have over there where I only work for a few hours every day, get paid a bunch of money, and there's no stress involved. But that's just me. So, realistically speaking, there was no good options out there besides Anthony Weaver well at least that come to my mind you know maybe there's someone there out there that I'm forgetting but this was probably the best move that the Texans could have made in terms of hiring a DC and like I said a lot of people have praise for Anthony Weaver will he do good I don't know like I said 
I'm someone that likes to wait and see before I make my final judgment call. But if I was a betting man, I would bet on the Texans' defense improving because of Anthony Weaver because he's a younger coach and he's a defensive lineman who's, you know, seen everything. Apparently, he's really smart. So I expect them to scheme up some things on the front end to get more pressure on the quarterback, thus making the secondary have to cover less, resulting in an all-around better defense. That is like my, I guess, prediction for Anthony Weaver. Now all that's left to do with the Texans is O'Brien has to promote Tim Kelly to play caller. Once we do that and hire a GM, then maybe, maybe, and this is a stretch, maybe things can turn around for Bill O'Brien. But I'm not getting my hopes up. I think we've seen the ceiling of what Bill O'Brien can do, and that's just playoff berth with a first or second round exit. I don't think we can get any further than that with Bill O'Brien, but hey, let's see. You know, hopefully they make the right moves. Hopefully, like I said, Tim Kelly play caller, get a GM, take things off Bill O'Brien's plate. This Anthony Weaver move, in my opinion, was a step in the right direction. Now we just got to do everything else. And yeah, that's pretty much my take on this whole Anthony Weaver thing. And comment down below your opinion on the Anthony Weaver promotion. And yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.